Hey, money makers. Today, I want to go over what you don't need to include on your resume. So let's get into it. The number one thing you don't want to include is your age. Why? No one cares and you don't want to get discriminated against for your age if you are older. Number two, you don't need to include whether you are married or not. Why? Because no one cares and that is too much info, honey. The next thing you don't want to include, let's, let's zoom on over here, is your picture. Okay, because you have some recruiters, they're going to look and say, this person is Indian, I don't want to hire them. This person is black, I don't want to hire them. This person is white, I don't want to hire them. Okay, that's what some recruiters do, not all. Let's keep it pushing here. Right here is the address. You don't want to include your full address. They don't need to know all of that. They just need to know your city and state so they can see if they hire from your state. That is it. Another reason you shouldn't include your address is because if you're looking around on your own and you're applying for whatever job you see without doing research, you will send scammers your name, your phone number, your email, your address, your age, and whether you're married or not. Okay, you don't want to send all of this to a scammer if they are scammers, okay? So let's move on here. The next thing that you don't want to have is a job you had from high school. Okay, I have everything zoomed in here so you guys can see everything good. So excuse me if it's a little slow. Now, right here you have a high school job that you were doing in 1999. You were a record specialist, okay? Uh, no, they don't need to know what your high school job was. You don't need to go back that far, okay? So let's move on here. The next thing, you don't need to put your business information. Why? Because they don't care. They're looking for a worker, okay? They're not looking for a business consultant. So right here, uh, you know, the person put their Etsy shop. You don't need your Etsy shop because they don't care. They don't, they don't care what business you have going on. So next, you don't need to include... Uh, out-of-date certification. So let's say you had a medical assistant certification back in 98. Uh, again, no one cares, and that's too far back. You need to have something more updated to let them know that, hey, I know all the medical uh, things that I need to know, you know, for this day and time. Okay, we don't need to go back where we were using paper and pen, even though, you know, we had computers in 98. But you know what I mean. <laughs> we don't need to go that far, girl. This ain't no Stone Age. Okay, so let's keep moving. Um, Let's see. Another thing with your colleges. Okay, let's just say you had three, four colleges here. You don't need to put your graduation dates on um, next to the college. And this is just example here. You should have a resume with one page. Okay, see how this is just one page. It's zoomed in, but it's one page. Um, I just put this additional stuff in here so we could talk about it. Okay, so let's get that together. One page resume. So like I was saying, you don't need to put your uh, date that you graduated each college. Like I said, let's say that you had four colleges here. You don't need to say uh, Penn College. I graduated 2004. Uh, South College, you know, I graduated, I don't know, 2002. And then you have another one, Bird College, you graduated um, 2000, you know, in the year 2000. Okay, let's just say that. Okay, because you're aging yourself again. They're looking like, okay, so, you know, wow. You, you know, you went to um, the first college back in the night. Okay, they don't need to know all of that. You know, you're doing too much. They don't need to know all of that because you don't need to give them any reason to discriminate against you because, guys, you have these recruiters that's like, you know, I don't want minorities working here. Um, I don't want women working here. You just have, the, you know, the recruiters. They're funny like that. Some of them now. Let's not act like all of them are. Okay, but I'm just saying you have the funny ones. And then you have some that are like, I don't want anybody working here over 35 okay so if you look 40 on your resume by saying you work 10 years each place then they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna skip over you that's just that's just what's gonna happen 
when those type of uh, recruiters are discriminating um, against age like that. That's what's going to happen. So you don't want to put yourself in any of these situations. Go ahead and take all of this stuff off of your resume because you do not need it. All that matters is experience. And some of you have asked me in the comments uh, whether you need to get some type of uh, degree to work from home. The answer is no. Now, if you're in tech, you might need a couple certifications, this, that, and the third. But for the basic jobs, no. For customer service, no. Data entry, no. Most non-phone, no. You just need experience, okay? That is all you need. Okay, well, I hope you guys learned some new things today. Oh, and let me give you one more tip. The best day to apply for jobs is Sunday. Okay, and the later the better. So let's say you apply 2 o'clock in the morning. You're going to be on top of the stack of 200 other applicants. Okay, so remember that and write it down, girl. Write it down, girl, because I want you to remember everything so you could get this money. Talk to you later.